Hello everybody and welcome to another live English class. I'm Christian and this is Kangaroo English. <laughs> um, it's Tuesday, best day of the week. It is a, a fantastic day today. The sun is shining, it's hot, um, all of, all of my students are in a good mood. Um, everything's happening today. <laughs> Everything good. Um, I hope that where you are in the world, I hope that you're having a good day. I hope you have nice weather and I hope that fantastic things are happening in your life. I wish, I wish you all a great day. Um, yeah, so we have, um, well, we have Josephine Stephanie, Rashid Bulaiche, Imran Kalandar, uh, Tong Lee, Alexandra Gotardo, Patricia in front. Hello, Patricia. Binoth Kumar, Nona Nona, Cynthia Zapata. Hello. Sorgul, Gosha, Roberto Esposito, Mi Amore. Um, Pietro Brunelli. <laughs> my, my Italian accent is on point. It's on point. Uh, Anton Demenev, Tong Li, Drigpal Singh, Lin Lin, Epic Fail. Um, uh, Andrea Ardelian, Amen Sala, La Mer and Secret de Mor. I like it. The Sea and the Secret to Love. What a great name. Natalia, Os Natalia Osipov in Moldova. Hello. Um, uh, Francesco, uh, Talita Martins. Yes, um, I'm, I'm in a good mood, as always. <laughs> no, I'm not always in a good mood, but, you know, normally, normally. Um, so yes, today we are going to play some games and also I am going to teach you some new and fantastic adverbs. And I'm sure that some of these adverbs will be, will be, will be very interesting for you because they are um, adverbs to intensify and soften. So for both things, okay? But first, let's play a little game. Okay, so um, this is to warm up, right? To warm up, to, to, switch, to switch our brains into English. So, please, can you choose a letter? Choose a letter from A to Z, any letter of the alphabet. Uh, and I'll take, the first, I'll take the first letter, okay? We have our first letter, which is the letter R. R. Now, <laughs> I, I always say this to my students. Um, when you are spelling words in English and you come to the letter R, okay, it's not er or er or it's, you have to think like a pirate. R. <laughs> R. There be gold. I, <laughs> I don't know what the pirates say. Give me R. There's the rum. Okay, so it's like R. A bit like maybe like a, 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 a lion R. Okay, you have to really uh, angry. That's the correct pronunciation for the letter R. Okay, so um, I'm just looking for the letter R, which of course is impossible to find because, you know, that's just how it is. Where is R? Oh, every time. Um, of course, it will be the first, the first one that I, that, you know, it'll be the first one in the stack, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> it was, it was, the, it was the first one. Okay, so, are you ready? You have to memorize the card. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Huh? How much did you, did you remember? Okay, now it's question time. Are you ready? Question number one. How many raspberries were on the card? How many raspberries? Oh, Lin Lin, very good. Goshen, no. <laughs> Goshen, no. Anton, Anton, no. A lot of people had that correct. A lot of people, but also a lot of people had it very wrong. There are three, three raspberries on the card. Only three. Eight, no. <laughs> okay, next one. What does the rabbit have in his mouth? What does the rabbit have in his mouth? Oh, a carrot. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. I think this that that reminds me of of a terrible English joke, which is um, what what is um, what is multicolored? What's what's multicolored? And sounds like carrot. Not a flower. Not a rainbow. This is this is my bad English joke. Come on, my bad English joke. What is? <laughs> Very good, Olga. Olga Onish 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 Shkuk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I. I really don't know how to pronounce that. On Anishish cook? Yes, it's a parrot, of course. But I, I don't think that's the joke. I think that I just, I think I killed, I killed the joke. I'm sorry. Well, uh, okay. <clears throat> um, it's, it's a great start to the class. <laughs> um, I need to, I need to maybe tell, I need to tell a better joke to, to fix that, that, that joke. Um, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try and think of a, of a better joke, okay? Um, okay, so, um, question number three. What color is the rocket? The rocket. What color? No, it wasn't red. Okay, Josephine, yes. Cynthia, yes. Che, no. Uh, Jashek, no. No, blue, blue no. A lot of you were very, very wrong about this one. The rocket is orange. Orangey, orangey brown. Okay, orangey, orangey. Now, I want to tell you something, okay? So, you know that noun plus y noun plus y equals adjective. So, you could say, for example, cloud, cloud is the noun, plus y is the adjective cloudy, and um, um, crab, crab plus y is crabby, so that's very crabby, it's a very crabby crab, this crab, super crabby, but at, as an adjective, right, as an adjective, you can, you can use it to, to say that something's in, like, a category, right? Like, for example, um, this, uh, this, this color, this color here, this, this color, right? I could say it's a pur purply red. A purpley red. You see, now it's an adjective to talk about the red. It's kind of purpley, like a purpley color. I'm using it as a, as a way to say, like, approximately. Or, very good, Josephine. Very good. Um, as I said in the previous class, you can say ish, right? Which also means approximately. 
purplish, purplish. So both, both are um, both are, are correct, but the little difference is that this is actually like a noun, right? So I can say he is purplish, noun. But this, this is an adjective. It's a purpley color or a purpley red or. Okay, so it's adjective, a little bit different. Different category of word, okay? Okay, so. And, and remember, you can, you can do this with any noun. Like, for example, imagine if you see, you see a person who looks like me on the street. You can say, wow, he's, he's really Christian-y. Yeah, or, or, or anything, jackety, telephony. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, apologies. Okay, next, next, next question. How, <laughs> or oh, yes, Patricia. Yes, Patricia, it's true. You could say Christianish, more or less like Christian, Christianish. <laughs> chalky, I am chalky, yes. Um, okay, so um, next question. How many clouds? How many clouds were on the card? Yes, and it's a good question, Josephine. If the word ends in Y, how do you add another Y? Like if it's, for example, um, if it's uh, like, a, what's a word that ends in Y? Um, salty. Um, well, that's already an adjective, so that's no good. <laughs> um, money. Then we do this. We say it's kind of money ye, e ye, e ye, money ye. Honestly, this this is what we do. Seriously. Um, now, could you write this? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think that you could write this, but you can definitely say this. Okay. <laughs> Cow said that she didn't even see the clouds. Look at the top. See the little clouds at the top. Two clouds. Two clouds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next question. Can you see the rabbit's teeth? Are the rabbit's teeth like, or not? Are they? Ooh, ooh. Some people saying yes. Some people saying no. Look, look at his little teeth. <laughs> I should probably move this light so that we can see the card a bit better. There we go. Now I think that you can see the card better. Yeah, that's better. Look, there's the little rabbit teeth. Look. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Um, no, that's it. That's all the questions. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, now we're going to play one more little game. Okay. Now. Um, This, this is a game that, that I, 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 use, I use in class called Man Bites Dog, okay? Now, what, what? Man Bites Dog? What? What? Okay, now, this, this is an expression in English. It's a phrase. It's a phrase related to, to news, to current affairs. We say that... If a dog bites a man, then this is not news. It's not an interesting story. A dog bites a man because, you know, this is something common, something that happens every day. But if man bites dog, that's news. That's interesting. And so it, it's a philosophy of, of the, the, the news media in, in English, right? So this game... This game is very simple, okay? There's, um, 
there's these all these vocabulary cards, okay? And what you do is you combine five cards to make um, to, 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 to make an imaginary headline. Now, um, headline, you know, the headline. The, the head, right? Now, um, what's, what's interesting about this type of English is that, well, it's called telegraphic style. Telegraphic style. If, if you want, you can Google it. I've never made a video about this. Maybe I will in the future. I'm sure that on YouTube you can find videos about the telegraphic style, but think about the telegram. Now, in the past, with the telegram, you know, beep, 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 the, the telegram, you, you had to pay per word. So, one word, five cents. Two words, ten cents. Three words, fifteen cents. So, you wanted to use, you wanted to use as few words as possible. You wanted to be really efficient. And the same with the newspaper. You have a very limited space to put your headline. So in this type of English, you, you eliminate all unnecessary words. Um, and it's a unique style. And it's, it's, really, um, it's really interesting. So let, let, let me show you some, example, some examples, right? Um, Here's a word that you could use to make a headline. Weds. Now, this is a verb. Who knows what this verb is to wed? Anybody know what this is to wed? <laughs> it looks strange. Isn't it? <laughs> it's not Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. Very good. Sorrel Edwin Suarez. Very nice. Exactly. So, um... To wed, to wed means to get married, right? Now, why, why would you say this when you could say this? Well, look, three letters and 15 letters, big difference. So this is our first, our first card, wed, okay? So we have weds, weds. Um, let's look for another one here. Um, cop. Who knows what a cop is? Anybody here know what a cop is? Oh, okay, so you do. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Yes. A cop is a police officer. Now, because we have men and women who are police officers, we say police officer, not police man. Remember, <laughs> to say police man, whoo, very dangerous, very dangerous. <laughs> no, um, Obviously now, you know, in, 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 in society, we are looking for equality, right? We're trying to eliminate sexist language, right? So policeman is now police officer. That, that is a whole other debate, which we are not going to have in today's class. Okay, so cop, cop, okay. Um, let's have a look in, um, for another one here. Um, okay, who knows what this verb is? Stabs. Does anybody know what this verb means? I don't think it's too common. Okay, it's not too common. <laughs> no, it's not Starbucks. It's not Starbucks. Very good. So, um... Very good. So the definition is to use 
to use something sharp or pointy, like a knife or a sword or an axe, you know, something, something sharp and metallic and pointy to enter the body, to stab, okay? So, stabs. Um, and yeah, of course, you can, yeah, like, 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 uh, like scissors. Yeah, and you can use it as a metaphor as well, right? Like imagine, imagine if you're talking about your boss at work and your boss is always, hey, you're, <laughs> you're, <laughs> my, okay, I'll give you an actual real example. My, my niece, my niece, Emma, okay, who lives in England, she's always stabbing me about having no hair, having gray hair, you know, she's stabbing me, mm -mm -mm, right, as a metaphor, making fun of me about, um, about, about my, my hair, <laughs> or, or that I don't have hair, <laughs> um, yes, and you can be stabbed in the back, yeah, Okay, so that's our next word. And, okay, we're going to do two more cards. Two more cards. This word, do you know what a pundit is? Hmm. Now, this is really, it's not a common word, except in newspapers and news and current affairs. Sorrel Edwin Suarez, very nice, my friend. Uh, also, uh, Mayank Verma, Alexi, uh, Gosha, very nice. Um, hello, Guillermo. Yes, a pundit is an expert in a particular, an expert in a particular thing, right? So you could be a pundit in English, or a pundit in football, or a pundit in. Um, I don't know, engineering, but you're not just an expert, okay, you're an expert who likes to give their opinion, who likes to talk about it, so it's different from expert because a pundit, a pundit would be in the newspaper giving their opinion, or on television giving their opinion, pundit, okay, so... And the final, the final card is this. 340 LB. Does anybody know what this means? <laughs> Any ideas? Any ideas what this means? Again, Sorrel is very fast today. It is pounds. It's not a submarine. <laughs> um, exactly, it's 340 pounds. So pounds is a unit of weight. Um, it comes from the Latin Libra Pondo. Okay, because Libra, Libra is the scales. You know the scales, um, these things? Oh, that's a, not a very good drawing, right? Things. These are Libras. Libras. If, if you are interested in astrology, if you're interested in horoscopes, you know that this is Libra. Um, and it's the same thing. Libra, LBS. Libras. Yeah. Um, so 340 pounds. I don't know how many kilos this is. Does anybody know... 340 kilos in, 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 in normal, <laughs> in, me, in the metric system, because, you know, come on. Okay, so, um, Okay, there we go. Uh, thank you very much to Joan Matzo, who says that it is 120 kilos. 
Uh, okay, so there's lots of different... Okay, La Mer says it's 170 kilos, 108 kilos, 154 kilos. Okay, 154 kilos. It's quite heavy. Okay, quite heavy. Um, so, here are our cards. We have Weds, Cop, Stabs, Pundit, and 340, 340 pounds. So, you have to create a headline with these words, okay, with these words. So, first, create a headline that makes, makes sense. Let's go, people, let's go. You can change the order of the words, okay, you have to think, okay. Anton Demenev, 340 pound pundit cop, stabs weds. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I like it. I like it. So, so now, because you know we're in English class, Anton, tell me the story. Tell me, like, why did the big 150 kilo cop, why did he stab the pundit? Like, tell me the story. Is it because maybe she was like um, his ex-girlfriend <gasps> or, <laughs> or something, I don't know, tell me the story. Mayank Verma says, top cop attests wedding groom for stabbing a 340 pound pundit. Ooh, okay, nice. Okay, I get it, so the groom stabbed the pundit and the cop Arrested. Nice. Very good. I can imagine the story. A cop stabs a bride to try her not to wed with a 340 pound funded groom. <laughs> oh, the police. The police. He's like, she. <laughs> he's he's too fat. You're not marrying him. <laughs> what a story! I can. I'm sure that in America this this can happen. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> uh, what what else? Um, yeah. So Viswa Rao, 340 pound pundit stab wed cop. Ooh. So maybe the cop was getting married and the pundit stabbed the cop. Wow. Wow. So, so what you can do, okay, if you want, if you have time after this class, you know, you can create a story, you know, about this. Type, type the story and send it to me. I'll read your story. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, the first one, the first piece of vocabulary is this. Prez. Who knows what prez might be? <laughs> Does anybody have any ideas? No, Josephine, not the press. Ooh, it is... It, of course, some, some are correct and some not. Prez is, of course... The president. The president of the country, the president of the the comp the, uh, the the organization, the business, right? The press. So that's our first one, Prez. Prez. Then we have um, let's see if we can. Ooh, well, I quite like this one. Because uh, I'm looking for some vocabulary that's more, you know, abstract. Okay, what about this verb? This verb, to dump. Does anybody know what this, this means, dump? Okay, so maybe you are asking why it's the letter Z. Because um, of the pronunciation, if if you have an S 
Okay, if you have an S, it's like press. Okay, press. But with a Z, it's zzz, with this voice activated. Zzz. So you have, because in the original word, you have president. President. Okay? And that's why we keep we keep that we keep that pronunciation with a Z. So dump, uh, dump. What does it mean to dump? Exactly. To dump means to put something in the rubbish. In in American English, when you um, the place, the place is called a dump, where you go and throw away your rubbish is the dump. Um, so the verb to dump could could literally be to take your rubbish and and throw it away. But normally, dump means to dump a person in a relationship, right? So imagine if 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 you have a partner, if you have a boyfriend. Or a, and a girlfriend, right? And you decide, you know, the relationship's not working. I'm sorry, it's not working, but, you know, it was good. We had a good time and thank you very much and have a good life. Bye-bye. Okay. This is to break up. Dump is different. Dump is this. I've met a new woman. <laughs> Dump. It's like taking your partner and throwing them in the trash. It's a one-way decision. It's a, it's, a, it's a horrible thing. It's negative and bad, right? Yes. Okay, so dump. It's not good. Nobody, nobody wants to be dumped. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, uh, let's, let's have a look for some... Uh, 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 Okay. What about this one? To downsize. Does anybody know what it means to downsize? You know, it's if you imagine the two the two words, right? You separate the two words, downsize. Very good. So, Alexander, to shrink, to reduce. Exactly. Exactly. Downsize. So, or decrease. Exactly. So, downsize can talk about... Um, your house, for example, you could say, this house is too big, we're going to downsize, to buy a smaller house. Or, you know, we could say, um, this company has too many employees, we are going to downsize the, the workforce. Okay, we're going to fire 20 people to downsize. Okay. Let's do another one. Um, <laughs> um, so some of these. Okay. Oops. What about this verb? Does anybody know the verb to sue? So this is in the third person, but the verb is to sue. Um, okay, so Georgia says it means justice, and Eva says lawyer. Okay, but what is the verb? Okay, uh, to file a case. Yes, basically to to demand something. I think that's the best explanation. To demand something. Okay, but demand legally. Okay, demand legally. So, I can sue you for money. Okay, I'm going to sue you for a million dollars. Or, maybe I can sue you for your house or your car. 
or I can sue you for, for custody of the children even. So it's like I'm, I'm demanding something from you in, in a legal way, okay? And finally, let's do the final, let's do the final. We need a, um, we need a, we need a, uh, <laughs> oh, there's, there's such great, there's such great um, vocabulary in this game. It's really funny. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. okay um, I think this is my favorite. I think we'll do this one. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Aha. Uh -huh. This is the next one. Beauty. So I think you, you all know the adjective beautiful, but this is the noun, beauty. Okay? And beauty is a noun that describes a person who is beautiful. So, you know, you can say... Um, I don't know. Scar <laughs> Scarlett Johansson is is a beauty. <laughs> um, for example, a, a natural beauty. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay, guys. So, so here here we have our five words. We have prayers, dump, downsize, sue, and beauty. Now. What headline, what headline can you invent with this vocabulary? I wonder. Princess Diana is a beautiful lady. She was. Okay. Gosha, uh, the dump prayers downsize the house because of the beauty who sues him. Oh, nice. I can imagine this story. <laughs> I can imagine this. This happening when, when Melania dumps him. Prez Trump dumped by his wife. He said his father's wife sues him many times. Very nice. Mm. Due to the beauty of the Prez, Congress dumps him. Great. Uh, a Coca-Cola Prez dumps the two litre beauty bottle to downsize it, but the fans sue for it. Wow. That's awesome. That's so good. I love these headlines. Um, beauty sued Prez and sent him to the dump. <laughs> um, so, you know, you can, again, if, if you want, you can write, write the whole story using these words and, and send it to me. You can email it to me or... Send it to me on Facebook, whatever. I'll, I'll read your story, okay? A beauty sued a company prez for his dumped downsized property. Woo. Very nice, very nice, okay. Um, so let's, let's move on. Let's, let's move on to some adverbs, okay? So we, we use adverbs to describe verbs, okay, to describe verbs, but we can also use adverbs to describe adjectives, okay? Um, so they're, they're, they are fantastic for, for adding, adding extra meaning without a big long sentence you know what i mean a big like a big long sentence um let, let, let's look at an example right um uh yeah like um, or, or yes or you're right patricia an adverb can describe another adverb adverbs can describe a anything they're they're the gymnasts of english <laughs> um so One, one of the most common adverbs in English is very, right? But it's boring, right? It's very overused. So we're going to, 
We're going to learn some, some alternatives to very that can help you to make your, make your, your, um, your, your, your speaking or your writing more interesting. Okay? So, um, let's, let's look at some alternatives. So, um, let's look at this one. Highly, highly. So, when we're talking about height, okay, you, you want to try to use this with words. You want to use this with words that, that make sense with this idea. Okay, so for example, highly important. It is. It makes sense because something important is high, right? In the hierarchy. Um, highly recommended, highly likely, highly educated. Because being educated is good and good is up. Okay? Uh, highly positioned. Exactly. And highly priced. Because remember... We cannot use this with a noun. It's not an adjective, it's an adverb. Okay? So we have this, and then we have, but we need a noun. We need a noun, but first we need an adjective. Okay? This is, this is not an adjective. This is, and there's our noun. Okay? Highly, highly impressive. Very good. Okay, let's try another one. Strongly. So think about this. What, what types of words make sense with something that's strong? Ooh, Josephine, strongly suggest. Great. It's like, I strongly suggest. <laughs> You're pushing. I strongly suggest you do this. Um, strongly agree. Very nice. Very nice. Strongly believe. Because it's like, you believe, right? Um, str <laughs> so, Patricia says, strongly annoying. It's interesting, but it was more common to say highly annoying. Not strongly, no, highly annoying. Strongly affected, strongly argued. Study strongly. Okay, good. Great examples, guys. Great, really good. Um... Now, this one, I think, is less common. Utterly. Utterly means absolutely or totally. It means basically 100%. So, uh, Ashraf, I think that's good. Utterly, utterly brilliant. Utterly useless. Utterly disgusting. Utterly true. Okay, sure. Utterly mad. Utterly magnificent. Utterly believable from Georgia. Utterly impressive. I was utterly disappointed and utterly sad. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's great. Great examples, guys. Utterly me. <laughs> that's right. Um, no, no matter what happens in life, I am always utterly me. Ooh, and Viswa, that, that's another great one. Utterly delicious. Pizza is utterly delicious. Oh, and Patricia, utterly miserable. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Um, okay, what about this one? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Now, this word is... Related to through, through, okay? So through means that we have, you know, we have some type of object or, or a, a, you know, an abstract object 
and we pass from one side to the other. So, thoroughly and through, they talk about completing something, finishing something. Okay? So, it's about, it's about um, taking the time to complete and finish something 100%. So, I can see that you, you already have some great ideas. So, to thoroughly check, thoroughly clean. Exactly, you're, you're, you're cleaning from, from the beginning to the end and all the steps in the middle. Uh, thoroughly examine, thoroughly enjoy, thoroughly studied, or thoroughly finished, thoroughly rebuilt. Um, and yeah, that's great examples, guys. Great examples. They, they talk about um, something which is done all the way. Very good, very good. Okay, so... Um, uh, what else we got? Okay, let's, let's look at some more, some more maybe uncommon adverbs. Okay, so, downright, blatantly, and wildly, okay, wildly, so, downright, look at this, right, it's negative, it's a negative thing, it's not good, I mean, look at your examples, it's great, Alexander Koenig, and, and, and Hogley Leonardo, so, gosha, downright person, no, remember, it's adverb plus adjective, not adverb plus a noun. So, it's a downright something person, okay? So, Alexander, downright disappointing. Exactly, it's bad, disappointing. Hogley Leonardo, downright unacceptable. Raya, a downright disgrace, very good, downright wrong. Or Ashraf, you're saying, she was downright beautiful. <laughs> well, it's a strange combination, but, you know, well, why not? Try it out. Okay, so it's a little... Okay, or as Viswa says, a downright abhorrent person. Not abhor, abhorrent. Abhorrent is the adjective. And <laughs> Patricia says, <laughs> a, down, a downright idiot. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay, so, um, or yes, uh, downright unprofessional, downright pathetic, downright poor. Mm, very nice. Downright bizarre. Good one, good, good. Blatantly. Blatantly means that you, you do something without, without any importance or care for the consequences, right? It's, it's like you, um, you do something, you do something bad and you don't care if people see that you're doing it. It's a bit like, um, a bit like, um, if, if you are lying to somebody, but everybody knows that you're lying. Everybody knows that you're lying. You are doing something you are, it, it, maybe I could say that it is like, um, you are, yes, I think that's the best example, the best uh, explanation to, to do something without giving any importance to the consequences. Okay. So ego is saying a blatantly driven car. Uh, Cynthia Sapatis says blatantly insolent. To act blatantly, blatantly shameless. Very nice, like, as Jashik says, you know, a lot of politicians are very blatant. They do things blatantly. You know that they're lying. You know that they're not telling the truth. But they don't care. 
about the consequences. Blatantly reckless, blatantly indecent, very good, great examples. And, and finally, wildly. You know, like, maybe if I tell a little lie, a little lie, like, how old are you, Christian? Ah, oh, I'm, um, 32. Okay, 32. See, that's a little lie. That's a little lie. How, how old are you, Christian? 18. 18? You are wildly exaggerating your age. Wildly exact wildly lying to me. <laughs> Do you know, after these live classes, I need to go and have a lie down because I'm exhausted. <laughs> And I'm not 18. After the live classes, I just lie on the floor like this. <sighs> and, and I have a coffee. <laughs> yeah, so for example, wildly annoying, wildly popular, wildly inaccurate. <laughs> a wildly desperate housewife. <laughs> Great examples, guys. We were laughing wildly in public. Brilliant. Wildly famous. Exactly. It talks about just, just a massive exaggeration. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, these, the, these are for to intensify. To intensify, right? But what about to, to make softer? What about to reduce? To reduce the effects? So we have, um, um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what else? Um, oh. Oops. Okay, so here are three adverbs to reduce the power. So the first one is mildly. Now, if, if you go to an Indian restaurant or, or a Mexican restaurant where they have spicy food, all right, you have some different options. You have mild spices and then extreme spices, right? So mild is, you know, soft, soft. Me, I don't like mild. I want, give me 10. Give me 10 of spice or 11 of spice. <laughs> so you have some great, you have some great uh, examples here. Mildly intoxicated, mildly confused, uh, mildly seasoned soup, mildly interesting, mildly upset. It's very similar to slightly. Very good. Very similar to, to slightly. Um, great examples, guys. Great, great work. Very good, very good. Loosely. Loose. So, you know, when, when, when I want to, when I want to be very strict, you know, with my teaching, I'm strict. Okay, it's like, this is correct, and this is correct, and this is not correct. I'm strict, right? The opposite is loose which is normally me, I'm loose, right? So it's not correct, but you know, it's okay. No problems. Um, you know, it's, it's like you're more flexible. It's not a tight jacket, it's loose and comfortable and relaxed. So some great examples from you guys here. Loosely disciplined, loosely educated, loosely desperate, loosely accurate. Loosely impatient, um, a loosely made law, very nice, and loosely speaking, yeah, very nice, you're speaking in a relaxed way, right? Um, great, great examples, and finally, faintly. So this light here, this light, it's very bright, okay? It's bright, I, I'm, I can see the light, it's very intense. But if I'm in a dark room, the light is very faint. I can't see the light. So faintly means not obvious. 
difficult to see, right? Difficult to, difficult to understand or, or appreciate. So maybe, you know, uh, you could say that something is, um, he faintly looked at her. Very nice. It's like he looked, you know, he just looked like a little bit. He didn't, he didn't really see her. He faintly looked at her. Like a faintly lit place. Exactly. Very good. Faintly lit. Or, wow, great example. Faintly smiled. <laughs> like, like, like when, when, when white people see each other, they do this. <laughs> you know, in, in some other cultures, you know, um, they're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Big hugs, but 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 white people are just like <laughs> faintly smiling. Um, I mean, these are great examples. Um, faintly, faintly, faintly telling the truth. Very nice. Faintly interesting. Faintly crying. He faintly loved her. Uh, it was faintly clear. Great. Great examples, guys. Really good. Um, really fantastic. So, I hope that you enjoyed this little, these activities. Um, I can see that you're, 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 really, you're really using these adverbs in a great way. I'm really happy. You should, you should all feel very proud of your work today. Good job. Um, now I have to go. Lots of classes this afternoon. Um, thank you very much for watching. Remember, I'm uploading daily videos on Patreon. If you want to see a video from me every day, check out the Patreon. It's free. Please go in the Facebook group. There is, there is a revolution happening in the Facebook group. Today I gave everyone in the Facebook group homework. Go and do the homework, okay? Um, and yes, um, if you want to um, just, just, just do something with your English this week, okay? Don't study, just go and do something with it. That's what I want. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, lots of love to you all. I'm Christian. This is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class. Bye.